Hello children once again your sarika ma'am welcomes you in another session of general knowledge hope you all are doing well let's start our session topic is friendly creepers page 12 first of all we should know the meaning of creepers and friendly creepers creepers refers to plants which are grown in a green environment or alongside buildings and what are friendly creepers friendly creepers refer to the plants which act as the home for animals especially insects in other words children friendly creepers are those who give shelter and food to insects but in this chapter we will read about friendly insects which get their food and shelter from these friendly creepers children lesson is about friendly creeper the name of lesson is friendly creepers but in this lesson we will read about friendly insects children there is a huge population of insects in this world but not all of them are harmful if we talk about harmful insects like grasshopper white flies mealybugs they destroy our plants and ruin flowers and can turn your beautiful yard into a living nightmare children they can, if the if we talk about as i'm saying about these harmful insect children if they attack on your garden this what they'll do they spoil your all garden okay next now but friendly insect what they do children yes friendly insect like ladybug lady beetle they are highly beneficial whereas bees and butterflies not only they are beautiful they are pretty but also help in pollination now you can see some friendly insects on your screen children these all are related to your chapter i will explain them one by one okay means whatever the pictures of insect you will see and i am going to show you these all insect pictures are related to your chapter and the first picture is bees they eat pollen and fly from plant to plant collecting them they help the plant to reproduce it means they help in pollination so they keep plants alive bees next children dragonfly they looks like the helicopter aisa lag raha na children that uh, they are looking like helicopter so they look like the helicopter they eat mosquitoes that carry the malaria virus children you know that malaria is spread by the mosquitoes so what these dragon fly do they eat mosquitoes which carry the malaria virus next children third dung beetle they eat animal wastes so farmers depend on them to clean up the animal wastes in their fields children they eat the animal waste so farmers take the help of this dung beetle for what purpose yes and to clean up the animal waste in their fields they next the uh, next is hover fly they look very much like bees which i have shown you in the first picture first picture was the picture of bees and they also look like bees they also eat harmful pests like the leaf hopper hover fly next is lace wing the little ones of these insects eat only 
meat. They are always hungry. Farmers dump a bucket of these insect eggs into the field. They hatch and eat every pest in sight. The answer is lace wing. Next, it's looking so beautiful children. They are helpful and beautiful. They eat pest and are seen as symbol of good luck. These are the symbol of good luck. Answer, ladybug. Next, ground beetle. This beetle eats slugs, snails, worms and cabbage maggots. They live in the garden soil. Last children, soldier beetle. Its name sounds like it's on duty. Right? Like soldiers are always living on their duty. Na? So, its name sounds like it's on duty. It feeds on aphids and caterpillars. So, we have uh, seen the pictures of bees, dragonfly, dung beetle, hoverfly, lacewing, ladybug, ground beetle and soldier beetle. Now, we come to the chapter children. Read about these friendly insects and name them. Okay. First one. They eat pollen and fly from plant to plant collecting them. They help the plant to reproduce so they keep plants alive. Answer bees. I have shown you in the picture. First picture was a bees picture. Okay. And Children, whatever the picture I have shown you or you have seen, these all are related to this chapter. Next children, they look like the helicopter. They eat mosquitoes that carry the malaria virus. Answer, dragonfly. D-R-A-G-O-N-F-L-Y. Number three. They eat animal wastes, so farmers depend on them to clean up the animal waste in their fields. Okay, so answer is dung beetle. T U N G B double E T L E beetle. Next, children. They look very much like bees. They also eat harmful pests. Like the leaf hopper. Answer hoverfly. H O V E R F L Y. Hoverfly. Question number five. The little worms of these insects eat only meat. They are always hungry. Farmers dump a bucket of these insect eggs into the field. They hatch and eat every pest in sight. Answer, lace wing. L-A-C-E-W-I-N-G. Question number six. They are helpful and beautiful. They eat pests and are seen as symbol of good luck. Answer, ladybug. Aap pehle bhi ye sari pictures dekh chuke hai children. So, Ladybug. L-A-D-Y-B-U-G. Ladybug. Question number 7. This beetle eats slugs, snails, worms and cabbage maggots. They live in the garden soil. Answer. Ground beetle. G-R-O-U-N-D B-E-E-T-L-E the last one, children. Question number eight. Its name sounds like it is on duty. It feeds on aphids and caterpillars. Answer, soldier beetle. S-O-L-D-I-E-R-B-E-E-T-L-E. -E -E. So, children, I think I'll repeat all this. So, that you can understand it. Well, so let's repeat. Number one, they eat pollen and fly from plant to plant 
collecting them they help the plant to reproduce so they keep plants alive children when answer can you guess yes it is bees next they look like the helicopter they eat mosquitoes that carry the malaria virus answer dragonfly question number 3 they eat animal waste so farmers depend on them to clean up the animal wastes in their fields children answer dung beetle next they look very much like bees they also eat harmful pests like the leaf hopper children guess the answer well hover fly question number 5 The little ones of these insects eat only meat. They are always hungry. Farmers dump a bucket of these insect eggs into the field. They hatch and eat every pest in sight. Answer: Lacewing. Question number six. They are helpful and beautiful. They eat pests and are seen as symbols of good luck answer lady bug question number 7 this beetle eats slugs snails worms and cabbage maggots they live that live in the garden soil answer ground beetle last question children its name sounds like it is on duty it feeds on aphids and caterpillars answer soldier beetle so children i have showed you the pictures of friendly insects and explained also now i am giving you the assignment write any five friendly insects name and what were the friend, uh, what were the uh, pictures i showed you the names were bees dragonfly dung beetle hoverfly lacewing ladybug ground beetle soldier beetle so out of 8 you have to write only five friendly insects name children one more thing you no need to draw the diagrams or the picture which i have shown you for the better understand uh, standing only we are showing you the pictures i hope children you have understood the lesson friendly creepers and friendly insects now children let's start our next chapter that is road watch page number 13 dear children every road user should be familiar with traffic and road signs of his country and we should obey road safety rules and signs in this lesson of road watch we will learn about the road signs i will explain you the meaning of each sign along with its picture which have been given in your lesson so let's begin children first of all pedestrian crossing A pedestrian lane is designated space on the roadway for exclusive use of pedestrians. The lane may be on one or both sides of the roadway and can fill gaps between important destinations in a community. Here is a sign of pedestrian crossing. A pedestrian crossing or crosswalk is a place designed for pedestrian to cross road street next children two way traffic two way traffic ahead sign the purpose of the two way traffic ahead sign is to warn drivers traveling on a one way street or highway that they are approaching a roadway section where two way traffic is in operation and that their ability to pass freely will be restricted by opposing traffic here is the sign of two way traffic the purpose of two way traffic a head sign children to warn drivers traveling on a one way street 
on highway that they are approaching a roadway section where two way traffic is operation next u turn prohibited children this sign is used at places where vehicles are forbidden to make a turn to the reverse direction of travel between the sign and the next intersection beyond it let's have a look of this u and u turn prohibited sign it means you are not allowed to reverse your direction of tra travel at that intersection without going around a block or two next guarded level crossing this sign indicates that there is a railway crossing which is guarded by a person if we talk about gazebad children nasarpur fatak crossing naya gazebad uh, railway fatak crossing and here the driver plays an important role so the driver should take extra precautions and act accordingly this sign also tells that the guarded level crossing is 200 meters ahead here is the sign so the sign there is a indicates that there is a railway crossing which is guarded by a person next speed breaker ahead a part of the road whose length gradually increases and then gradually decreases its purpose of applying on the road is to reduce accidents by reducing speed of the vehicles children this speed breaker sign you have uh, seen in your colonies and suppose your papa is driving the vehicle and he saw that speed breaker is coming what what he is doing he is reducing his vehicle speed so speed breaker ahead a few raised area across a road intended to show down the traffic next stop the stop sign is regulatory sign stop signs are designed to let drivers know that they must come to complete stop drivers must stop at the stop line crosswalk or intersection whichever they encounter first the driver must yield the right of way to pedestrians and approaching vehicles before proceeding here is the sign of stop so children if we say in simple way stop a sign on the road that tells drivers of uh, not uh, vehicles to stop and not to continue until it is safe next speed limit road speed limits are used in most countries to set the legal maximum or minimum speed at which road vehicles may travel on a given stretch of road speed limits are generally indicated on a traffic sign reflecting the maximum or minimum permitted expressed as kilometers per hour and or miles per hour children speed limit vary to place to place or road to road like if we are going to highway and we are driving the vehicle on highway speed vary from the place or road where high traffic is this there is a sign of speed limit the speed limit is the maximum uh, should drive assuming the conditions are good and conditions are bad then you must slow down to a safe speed no entry use a no entry sign to keep unwanted guests away post a new entry sign at the entrance to high security areas no entry signs display a clear message and are intended to prevent unauthorized access or entry here is the sign of no entry 
children no entry is used to sign to indicate that you are not allowed to go into particular area or go through a particular door or gate this is a sign of no entry now cross road a road that crosses a main road or runs cross country between main it cautions the driver that the road is going to cross over a major road where the traffic could be heavy and faster this allows the driver to slow the speed and maneuver the intersection safely here is the sign of cross road this sign tells that there is a crossing of road ahead that let the sign advise that the vehicle should be slowed and the intersection should be crossed cautiously by looking on both side next children narrow road ahead this sign cautions the driver to be careful as the road ahead is narrow the width of the road lessens after this sign and thus traffic should adjust accordingly here is the sign of narrow road ahead just look it carefully so children i have explained you the sign a uh, road sign which has uh, been given in your chapter now i think we should uh, revise it so we'll go back and revise it it will take little time children so when you uh, when i will revise you just see it carefully okay so first sign was which i showed you on your screen was yes it was pedestrian crossing here we come pedestrian crossing sign is here two way traffic and the sign is here u turn prohibited here is the sign guarded level crossing the sign is on your screen speed breaker ahead here is the sign stop the sign is on your screen again speed limit here is the sign of a speed limit no entry the sign is here cross road the sign is here next narrow road ahead and the sign is here now we come to the chapter children in this lesson you are watching that they have not given they have not given any they have been not given any explanation so children you no need to write any explanation in your copy i have only given the explanation for the better understanding okay in this chapter you are watching here you are watching two option for one sign suppose pedestrian crossing is there you have two option option a and option b so which one is correct yes option a no need to write this chap chapter also in the copy i am i will give you the assignment that assignment you have to do only okay two way tra traffic which one option is correct a u turn prohibited again option a is correct guard level crossing which option is correct yes it is b speed breaker ahead again b option is correct children all the sign you have seen in this video previously which i showed you before that stop which one sign is correct yes it is a speed limit again b is correct no entry option a is correct cross road option b is correct narrow road ahead option a is correct children you can do it orally okay i am giving you the assignment here is the assignment draw any three road signs and name them from given above i repeat draw any three road signs and name them from given above children you can 
write only three sign whatever you find easiest to draw suppose you find you can draw easily two way traffic sign so one side you write two way traffic and you draw the sign okay suppose speed limit write the speed limit draw the speed limit sign okay no entry write no entry draw the no entry sign you no need to draw all the signs only you will draw three road sign okay children you understood your assignment now i wrap up this session hope you all understood well in this session i taught you about friendly creepers and about road watch okay now you revise it and learn it children thank you children thank you very much